the first ever International Day of the Girl Child was marked yesterday. The day was adopted by the United Nations to recognize the empowerment and investment in girls, which are considered critical for economic growth and the achievement of all Millennium Development Goals. To get more perspective on the significance of the day, we're joined via Skype from New York by Gina Rees Wilchins, a director of Girl Up United Nations Foundation. Welcome to In Focus, Ms. Uh, Rees Wilkin, Wilchins, actually. Thank you very much for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, it looks like uh, there is a day for everything. Uh, can you say what uh, really the significance of having a Girl Child Day is, an annual event? Well, thanks to the UN, the United Nations, we uh, made a historic uh, moment yesterday by celebrating the first International Day of the Girl Child. And it was an opportunity and a moment for everyone, including the United Nations Foundation, uh, UNFPA, Plan International, to say girls matter. And um, th it matters that they're educated. It matters that they're safe and healthy. And in course, in light of the, um, the recent tragic news out of Pakistan with uh, Malali uh, Yousafzia, uh, it's a, even a more of a, a dour reminder that it is not safe for girls to be educated in, in a lot of parts of the world. And, and this day has given us an opportunity to speak up and say that we need to um, educate half of our population so that we can reduce poverty and improve long-term uh, goals for development in many countries. Yes. Now, you, you happen to be uh, with a young lady there. You're sitting next, she's sitting next to you, Munira, who has uh, ancestry in Somalia. I want, to, I want you to just uh, chip in a little bit here. What does this mean to you personally, if you can say this and represent other girls? Um, it means that I have this opportunity to pass on this gift of education. My mom was given the gift of education by her father in Somalia, which was not very much heard of during that time. And she passed that on to her daughters because she believes that truly that women are, by targeting women, we are targeting all the issues at hand. In, uh, now, the um, thank you very much. Now, Geneva, I may turn back to, back to you. You see, um, this uh, uh, guaranteeing girls uh, some of these opportunities uh, requires the input of governments and systems. Now, tell me, what must uh, different governments around the world do so that this day does not just become another passing event, another annual passing event? Well, they've got to pay attention to the, half their population, and they've got to pay attention to the women and know that they are a valuable asset to the society, and that instead of marrying them off as young as 13 or 14 or even 15, Munara's age, um, we need to put them in school, and we need to get them into primary and secondary school. We need to educate them. We need to make sure they're having um, children when they want to and marrying when they want to, and also access to health care and, and their own reproductive rights. Um, so just making sure that the government is hearing us, making sure that they understand that these problems exist and also help and be a partner with NGOs and civil society to actually make a difference. Yes. Uh, Munir, uh, Munir, when you see a little girl somewhere in Somalia being married off at age 13, what does it make you feel and what would you tell those who are listening and watching us right now? First of all, I imagine my own little sister her age being married off to some man who's so much older. And I think that um, she's being deprived of a childhood. There's so much that these girls can do if they're given an education and a safe environment to grow up in. And, you know, many countries are depriving them of that. And I believe that everyone should take the initiative to help with, you know, situations like Girl Up because really they're giving back to everyone because girls are the center of each community. Now, Gina, very briefly, if you may conclude here, give a final thought. Uh, what is your general message uh, to all the girls? Well, is that we want girls to be educated, healthy, and safe. It's that simple. I think everyone is entitled to that as a citizen of their own country. Um, Girl Up is a, an innovative campaign of the United Nations Foundation. We're working with girls like Munira to actually raise awareness and raise funds for girls in developing countries to become global and their become global leaders and advocates of the UN. So, you know, our message is simple. Let's educate and empower half the population so that we all thrive and that all communities are better. Oh, thank you very much.
Our thanks to Gina Reese Welchins, uh, who's the director of Girl Up United Nations Foundation, and also for Munir uh, for joining us today via Skype uh, here on In Focus.